Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. If your Roblox keeps crashing on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 laptop or a desktop, this tutorial is for you. So whenever you're trying to play game Roblox and um, either it gives you an error or it simply closes and you try to open then it doesn't work. This tutorial is for you, we just need to do three simple steps and it will be fixed. So open your favorite browser but before opening that always make sure that you do a right click on that icon. Uh, you can keep that icon on your desktop and let's say if you're playing uh, through Google Chrome then I would recommend to do a right click and click on run as administrator. So the moment you click on run as administrator it will ask you to say yes and then it will open up the browser and then you can try to play see if that works for you. If that doesn't, you can move to the next step and for that, you just need to open your Google Chrome and press Ctrl, Shift and Delete. I'll repeat, Ctrl, Shift and Delete and from here you can uncheck everything. Just keep a check mark on cache, images and files and then you just need to click on clear data. So in this manner, if there are a lot of junk, a lot of cache in your browser, it will be removed and you will most probably able to play roblox the third step and very easy step is to search i mean click on the search icon and type windows defender and you will find your windows security or windows defender option and it will open up like this now once it is open at the left hand side or at the right hand side you will find firewall and network protection you can see right here so i'll just click on that and here we have allow an app through firewall so here we just need to click on that and it will open up like this and here you just need to look for roblox and please make sure it is check mark for private and public once you do that for example let's say if this is the roblox you just need to do a check mark and keep a check mark on this private and public next to it once you do that, you just need to click on OK and then you can restart the computer and then try to play your game. I hope it resolves the problem. You can let me know in the comment section that which step has fixed your problem. And you can also let me know if that doesn't. I'll try my best to fix your problem and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.